Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to replace the crankshaft pulley or the harmonic balancer uh, on an S500W220, 2000, S500, S430 but the procedure is the same uh, for even the E-Class, E320, a bunch of other cars, M112 engine, M113 and others. Um, so the reason I'm replacing uh, mine is because the front seal had a leak, a very small leak. And so it was, uh, and the car has got about 149,000 or so miles. So it's about time uh, to replace the harmonic balancer. If you don't have a, a leak, maybe you can wait uh, uh, 20,000 more miles or so. But uh, the parts that I found online were extremely cheap relative to how much you will have to spend for the Mercedes-Benz one. This tool alone costs over $300, the Mercedes-Benz brand. I got this for about $30 from Zorro as of February of 2023. And I purchased the Cortico brand of the pulley itself at $62 from Auto House AZ. And uh, that uh, alone, uh, the Mercedes-Benz brand costs over $300. The bolt is about $14, and the seal is $9 or so, so U.S. dollars. So for $115 total, relative to over $800, uh, you can do this job. Uh, you'll need some half an inch uh, socket extensions, the small extensions. Um, uh, and one more thing, the, the, this tool perfectly fits the Mercedes-Benz harmonic balancer, but the Cortico brand that I bought has a thicker inner wall of steel by about one millimeter or so, so using a grinder. And so if you wanna go the Cortico route, the cheaper route, then uh, uh, you'll need a grinder. And the grinders are very cheap, of course, for 20, 30 bucks you can get one with a disc and so you can grind the outer the, the uh, uh, perimeter of the the tool and shave off about one millimeter a little more than one millimeter of material and then the tool will fit not just the uh, old Mercedes-Benz brand of the harmonic balancer but also the cortical brand and I use the this bar this pipe that you see that, that's a half an inch um, breaker bar you'll need a pipe to I uh, use the handle of my hydraulic jack uh, so to extend it uh, the, the total length is about five feet by now so you really need some leverage uh, it's, it's pretty tight um, because uh, when you tie it also you'll notice that I give the court uh, torque values but uh, you torque it to 150, 200 newton meters, 150 or so foot pounds, and then turn it another 90 degrees. So uh, that's the uh, socket extension, a short socket extension, half an inch, and you want to put that uh, towards the bottom of the pulley. And then, as you remove it, you want to have the end of the wrench to the left against the uh, engine support, uh, the, the, the bottom of the engine support, as you, as you turn the bolt of the balancer to the left. And this is an H17 um, Allen socket. The, Merced the, the original ones, the, the bolts were Allen bolts. The new ones uh, are not, and they require a 27 millimeter socket. And so, as you go through this process, you'll notice that uh, you'll have to maneuver the socket left and right and insert them a few times uh, because you want to start from the right here. As, uh, I, I'm, I'm not showing it, but I begin to uh, do this from the right, all the way from the right. So you have the full range of motion from right to left as you remove it. And for about halfway or even more than that, you'll notice that the soft is not, e not, e not even moving, but then it just starts to move and you need uh, quite a bit of force, but with, with the pipe really, it's uh, not 
not much. Um, uh, so I moved it all the way to the left and maybe the last 20 degrees or so I started to see the socket moving. And then I brought the breaker bar back to the right and then it was very easy. It just moved to the left and then I was able to take it out. So um, you want to give yourself about uh, half a day, a morning or afternoon. It took me a total of three hours and that included the recording time, which took most of the time. So if you have done, um, if you have done this kind of work, uh, I mean, you have replaced the parts before. I would say if this is your first time, uh, don't even attempt it. Let, let the professional do it for you. But uh, if you have done some car work before, you don't need to hoist the car up, uh, jack it up or anything. Uh, you do all of it in the engine bay. Uh, if you want to give yourself more room, you can remove the fan. I have a full video how, that shows how to remove the radar, radiator fan. And you can do that to give yourself more room, but you really don't need to. I would advise that you uh, that you wear gloves um, so that uh, to keep your knuckles and skin from um, getting hard. Uh, there are sharp edges there everywhere, and um, and so once you remove the once you loosen the bolt, then it just comes out very easily. And you can leave the belt on, the drive belt on until you have, um, after you have removed it. And uh, I showed the Mercedes-Benz workshop manual in the beginning. Um, it does not say anything about um, applying Loctite, blue Loctite on the bolts or to, um, or to, um, Uh, lubricate the, the seal. You can uh, leave the belt on until you have removed the bolt of the harmonic balancer. After you have removed it, then you can remove the bolt with a 17 millimeter socket and you put it right underneath the uh, tensioner, belt tensioner. As you can see that, that black socket there right under the belt towards the right, center right. Uh, that's where that um, socket goes and you move it to the left and that releases the tension on the belt and then you can remove the belt now the installation is just the reverse of the removal process except for uh, and removing the pulley to by the way, uh, jiggle it left and right, it will come out. But if, uh, if it's uh, more rusty than mine, then, um, then you'll have a tool to remove that. But um, here, uh, besides the small leak I mentioned before, uh, you see it has a, an inner wall uh, of steel and an outer wall, and there is a rubber sandwiched in between. That rubber over time deteriorates, and as you can see here, it's kind of coming off. Coming off, there you can see a protrusion there on one side. So, in retrospect, it was uh, it was good timing to replace this. In my case, and as you can see, the inner wall of the cortical brand is thicker. It's about thicker by about one one and a half millimeters. And that's the reason that uh, the Ford tool does not fit inside of it as well as it does in, inside the Mercedes-Benz brand of the pulley. And then removing the seal is not, not hard at all. Pay attention to the tab there on, on the left. And there is an indentation or depression on the pulley that has to be matched to that as you put it in. Uh, using a, 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 a screwdriver, 
uh, leveraging it against uh, against uh, where the pulley goes sort of um, pull it out a little at a time and then with your fingers or a pick you can just take take it out the rest of the way be careful not to scar anything on the inside So uh, replacing the seal is also easy. Uh, insert it with your hands. Try to insert it as evenly as you can, but really it doesn't matter much. Uh, much using a, a piece of wood or a larger socket, you can just tap it in and uh, with a hammer. But then, uh, as you tighten the bolt of the pulley, it will sit against that and um, level it up. So here, uh, before you take it down, pay attention to where the depression is in the pulley and sort of match it. I mean, you can use a cell phone to go down there and see where the notches or the tab match the two. And then you can move it a little left and right, uh, pressing it in, and it should go in all the way. Well, not all the way, but it will go in quite a bit and then the rest of the way as you tighten the bolt. So using a 27 millimeter um, half inch socket, tighten it by hand first until you can't anymore. And then uh, just reverse of removal, uh, you will use your uh, wrench. Uh, on the right side as opposed to the left side before so that the wrench is now leveraged against the engine support to the right as you tighten it. You'll need to do some um, exercise a little the day before, do some squats, <laughs> because your back will be bent um, half of the time. So torque it first with a torque wrench to, I believe it's 147.512. Uh, foot pounds or 200 newton meters uh, and then using the breaker bar and, uh, and a pipe uh, same setup 90 degrees so start all the way from the left and keep going and just as you would remove it and notice that it's not moving it will feel the same way but you'll have to go f all the way from the left left all the way to the right and that would be about 90 degrees 
and placement of the handle is also important. You want it on the outside of the coolant pipes so you have the full range of motion from left to right. Keep an eye on the, on the sockets. Make sure the socket is all the way in and that the wrench in the bottom is still leveraged and has not fallen off or will not fall off. If you have a helper, instead of having it, uh, I think it's, it would still be easier even with a helper to, to have it supported, uh, held against the engine support as, as opposed to a person doing it. And then of course, uh, put the belt on and turn on the engine and test. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.